Welcome to my channel SPS Physics Classes by S. Padindra Sharma. Today, let us try to see the concept of work done by the frictional forces. They are also known as <coughs> non-conservative forces in the system. Why basically they are called as non-conservative forces? The basic difference between conservative and non-conservative forces are nothing but work done will be equal to zero for full trip. Full trip means what? Forward and backward. If the total work done, in this case, total displacement becomes zero. So therefore, work done is zero. This is applicable for only conservative okay, forces. For non-conservative forces, uh, that means uh, like frictional forces or viscous forces, any resisting or opposing forces, okay, they will be still present either in forward motion or in backward motion. That's why work done is not going to be zero case of full trip. Okay, let us see few examples over this one so that you will get some confidence in the entrance examination. Let us see the questions. The question is very simple here. We need to find out the work done by the kinetic friction in the given system. So initially block is at rest, already it is given clearly and it uh, undergone displacement of S in the T seconds of time. Now we are applying a force of F where Fk is nothing but kinetic friction. Right? That means the object already starts, it overcame by limiting friction, everything will be done. Now in the given case, uh, net force on the system given by according to Newton's second law, net force is equal to this can be obtained by preparing free body diagram. So when you prepare free body diagram, mg vertically downward direction, normal reaction here, applied force F here, and frictional forces Fk here. Acceleration is in this direction. Therefore, F minus Fk we can write out. That means Fk mu k into normal reaction, which is given by F minus mu k into mg. This is the net force. Okay net force acting on system but uh, in the given case uh, especially the examiner is asking us to find out work done by means of only frictional forces look at here work done by only kinetic frictional forces only we need here therefore work done due to frictional forces is equal to magnitude of frictional forces dot here we can take and s we have to take Kinetic friction acts in what direction? Backward direction as object displaces in the forward direction by S. Therefore, we can done as mu k into mg, where S is nothing but what? Displacement in this direction. However, in the given problem, both are opposite sides. Na? Therefore, one should represent with a minus sign in the problem, where negative indicate this work is done against the system. That is the meaning. Okay. So, therefore, final answer is nothing but mu k into into yes this is the final answer for the problem magnitude means this is the answer for an important condition suppose you are applying force it is uniformly moving in such a case mu k mg into distance is equal to Canada as speed into time using this particular formula also one can determine work done by the kinetic friction either in displacing s units or moving with uniform speed we can determine like this Chalo. let us move to the Next problem. In the next problem, this is the superb question, Nana. Find out the work done in full trip of object along the rough inclined plane. So, first of all, let us consider that uh, object is coming in the downward direction. That means in the case one, okay, we are considering what Nana object is moving in downward direction. An object is moving in the downward direction means uh, when you try to prepare, okay, something like a block like this, gravitational force mg sin theta acts in this direction and uh, Efk acts in this direction. This is the normal reaction which balances the mg cos theta. However, vertically downward direction mg is there, here angle theta. Already we know this entire thing from friction chapter, okay. Right. Let the length of the inclined plane is L. Then the work done in the case one is given by Fk and length. So Fk acts in the upward direction, object moving in forward direction. Therefore, we can identify as what an angle between them will be exactly opposite to each other. 
therefore you can write down as a uh, work done is equal to fk into l fk is nothing but what anna mu k into mg into normal reaction is but cos theta to l we can write down here this is with a minus sign and uh, what about mg sin theta component so mg sin theta did a positive work because both are in the same direction in the case one this is the total work done so total work done is uh, equal to that of work done due to kinetic kinetic friction together with uh, work done due to gravitational force both we computed here we got the answer similarly in the case two work done w2 is given by simply so in the next case what is happening same to same figure but the object is at where nana at bottom condition now this block is moving in vertically upward direction under such a case what is happening mg sin theta in backward direction look at here nana mg sin theta in the backward direction displacement l in forward direction therefore you can write down as minus mg l sin theta because of gravitation however kinetic friction acts in what direction because object is moving in this direction therefore kinetic friction also acts in this direction displacement in opposite direction that means you can write down as what uh, mu k mg cos theta into l we can write down and uh, the symbol here is nothing but what you write down on uh, minus we can write down because 180 degrees now in the given case uh, upon uh, taking the sum w total so w total is equal to w1 plus w2 upon adding the two terms uh, okay plus mgl minus mgl cancel minus mu k mgl cos theta minus mu k mgl cos theta will give you minus 2 mu k mgl cos theta this is the total work done over the full time of the system so twice and uh, see in this particular case uh, what we can but uh, total work done over the full trip is not going to zero. Just now only I given the statement, okay? It is going to be true in case of inclined plane. Apart from this one, you can apply the same condition for horizontal plane. Horizontal plane means what done? Theta is equal to zero. Substitute here theta is equal to zero. What happen? Cos zero means one. You will get minus two L. So like that. Be careful in the system. If the non-conservative forces there means total work done will never be zero. Okay? That is the today's class. Thank you very much.